Hello, welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Marie Curie. Marie Curie is remembered for her discovery of radium and polonium and for her huge contributions to finding treatments for cancer. Born Maria Sklodowska in Warsaw, Poland on the 7th of November 1867, she was the youngest of five children to poor school teachers. After her mother died, her father could no longer support her, so she became a governess, reading and studying in her own time to quench her thirst for knowledge. To become a teacher was never a possibility due to the lack of money preventing Maria going to higher education. However, in 1891, Maria moved to France when her sister offered her lodgings in Paris with a view of going to university there. She immediately entered Sorbonne University in Paris where she read physics and maths. It was in Paris in 1894 she met Pierre Curie who was a scientist working in the city and she married a year later. She also began to adopt the French spelling of her name Marie. The Curies began to research at the School of Chemistry and Physics in Paris and there they began their pioneering work into the invisible rays given off by uranium, a new phenomenon only recently discovered by Professor Henry Becquerel. Becquerel had shown that the rays were able to pass through solid matter, fog and photographic film and caused air to conduct electricity. Marie also noticed samples of a mineral called pitchblende which contained uranium ore were a great deal more radioactive than the pure element uranium alone. Marie was convinced that pitchblende also contained tiny quantities of something very radioactive. She was convinced it was a new chemical element. Pierre and Marie set about working to search for the unknown element. They ground up samples of the pitchblende dissolved them in acid and began to separate the different elements present. Eventually, they extracted black powder 330 times more radioactive than uranium, which they called polonium. Polonium was a new chemical element with the atomic number 84. The Curies investigated the liquid left behind after they extracted polonium and found it still extremely radioactive. They realised that pitch blend contained another new element, far more radioactive than polonium, but present in even smaller quantities. They called this element radium, but they had no sample of it yet. Pitch blend is an expensive material because it contains valuable uranium. Marie needed a lot of it. A factory in Austria agreed to provide waste pitch blend after the uranium was extracted. The Curies now had 20 kilogram batches to process, which was heavy and physically demanding. Both Curies began to feel sick and physically exhausted as they were beginning to suffer from early symptoms of radiation sickness. In 1902, Marie eventually isolated radium and in 1903, Marie and Pierre were awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics jointly with Henry Becquerel for their combined, though separate, work on radioactivity. In 1903, Marie passed her doctorate thesis in physics. Tragedy struck in 1906 when Pierre was killed in a street accident after being knocked down by a horse and cart. Marie succeeded her husband in his chair as professor at the Sorbonne and by 1911 won a second Nobel Prize for chemistry by creating a means to measure radioactivity. During World War I, Marie Curie, which developed small mobile X-ray units called Petit Curies, which could be used to diagnose injuries near the battlefield. By October 1914, the first machines were ready, and together with her daughter, Irene, they worked at a casualty clearing station, X-raying wounded men to locate fractures, bullets, and shrapnel. In conclusion, 
Marie Curie is a wonderful woman. She's remembered not only for her discovery of two new chemical elements, but also for being the first woman to win the Nobel Prize and also for developing mobile x-ray machines during the First World War. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel or follow me at Facebook or at Twitter at Little Miss History 81 at Tanuelix 38.